Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Grykowski, creator of the Better Brain Blueprint. Today we're talking about taking better control of your brain and your emotions by the brain wave patterns. So brain waves are electrical frequencies that are made by the brain nerve cells and it's the way that they start to work in the same pattern to communicate. So the more of those brain uh, cells that are communicating with that brain wave pattern, the more it affects your overall emotions, your feelings, your sense of awareness, your sense of focus. So there are five different types of brain wave patterns. And the more that we are in this proper brain wave pattern at the appropriate time, the more effective we are, the less stress we have on our nervous system, that fight or flight, and the more that we can actually be focused when we need to, but also relax and heal. So if you look at the, the lowest brainwave pattern, it's like the beating of a drum. Boom, boom, boom. That lower brainwave pattern is the delta wave pattern. It's anywhere from a half to four cycles per second. Our brain will start to be entrained and start to focus in on these brainwave patterns. If you've ever heard a song and you start to hear that in your head and it starts to cause your emotions to rise, that's your body getting in sync with these brainwave patterns. The next level up from the delta wave, which is the most common in little babies when they're the first few months where they sleep a lot, is our theta wave. This is that awareness where we're not asleep, but we're not quite fully awake. We're in that lucid state. It's our most creative part of our brain. It's actually when we process a lot of things. Uh, certain forms of deep meditation can put you into a theta state so that you're not asleep, but you're aware of your surroundings, but you're really focused in on your internal self. That's about four to eight cycles per second. Your alpha wave is a higher state and that's typically when we're in that present time. You're aware, you're focused of what's going on. Uh, certain forms of meditation where you're focusing on your breath will put you in that alpha state. Alpha state is a very important um, brainwave pattern to calm down the nervous system, especially after a very busy day or a lot of activities. Uh, that's about 8 to 12 cycles per second. And then you get up higher into the beta range where you're 12, 13, up to 30, 35 cycles per second. And that's your activity. That's when you're most productive. You're doing your work. You're, you're doing all these errands. You're running from point A to point B. You're in that beta wave pattern. Here's the problem. Most people don't ever calm their brain wave patterns down to get into that delta state so they don't sleep. So they have insomnia. Light and sound affects these these patterns so we need to actually calm down our brainwave pattern when we're active throughout the day when we're doing all our stuff fighting our battles and and being productive and creative that's great but when you get off work you need to actually calm it down meditation yoga are ways that you can actually calm down into that alpha wave pattern taking a walk in nature is a great way to do that also even just a walk focusing on your breath can calm you down into those lower brainwave patterns that allows you to calm down even lower so you can go into more creative, the theta state, and go to sleep when it's actually time to rest in that delta phase. When you wake up in the morning, don't set the alarm and go into that beta state where you're up and revved up. It's the worst thing you can do. If you do that long term, that's what creates heart attacks, strokes, overall anxiety. It can create a depression if you do that long term because it just burns you out. So being aware of your brain wave patterns is critical. We'll be talking more about specific ways to get into each of these states and the different timings of the day. But today, it's just be realize that there are certain wave patterns, and if you focus on, in on them, you can calm down a lot of that internal stress and internal tension. This is another Better Brain Tip of the Week from Dr. Bob. Have an awesome week.